Hello, it's your boy from 1996. We're about another episode of Low Standards, where gaming has become such a thing. And also, I would like to introduce you to what we're going to do today. As today will be the first episode around Operation October. Ooh, you'll be playing some of the more classic Halloween-esque games because October is a thing and scariness is a thing. And if I play any jump scare games, fuck that. That's just not scary. We'll be playing Stippity of the Night, the mobile version, which is a remake of, um, not remake, but a redux version of Symphony of the Night for the PlayStation 1. I say this because this game is basically a much more inclusive English, ver like, better English dubbed version of the game, as the, uh, original English dub of the game was notorious for, you know, completely ridiculous voice acting. However, uh, this version is a little bit hard on me because, well, I, I think my iPad doesn't have the excited all RAM to run this faster than it is, or it's just the mobile version of the game being a little bit slow. I mean, the game is still somewhat, like, runnable. Just my knowledge, you know, it's not running well. I don't know, I didn't really look at the reviews for this game that much. I thought I could play this game with a controller, but unfortunately, I realized that's impossible with the um, HDMI thing, and also, um, particularly just, it doesn't have controller support. Also, I've never really played this game, so bear with me, I don't know what I'm really doing in the game, per se. <sighs> there we go. Okay, I got the thing, I think. I think it was a cross. Uh, let me go pause first and get to my menu. That's the map. Equip. Body. Alright, equip. That should give me some extra protection. I don't know what that does, but I'll find out eventually. Red skeletons. Can't really kill those guys, I think. So I'm very familiar, at least, with Castlevania to a T, as I played a bit of the DS games, but not to the fullest. But I understand the mechanics of the Metroidvania concept. Though I never really played Metroid. I mean, I played it, but not to the point where I understand its rules and worlds in terms of the mechanics and such, like the world map. Okay, so, can I jump over this? There we go. I should get rid of that. Oh, wait, that's what that button does. Shit. Another shield. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my hand. Don't feel like using the rest swords because I, I require um, two hands for that. So, Symphony of the Night is pretty, you know, famous because it's considered the most, like, noticeable, like, favorable Castlevania game of all time. In terms of, like, most older players, despite the fact that certain old players would rather prefer the original Castlevania games, where it was a stage-by-stage -stage basis as opposed to this Metroidvania concept, the like, original. Okay, I killed him right before he could throw his axe, so that's unfortunate. I kind of wish there was an option to actually use the usual voice acting, but that would just, I guess, to, just undermine the idea of the reason why they got newer voice acting for a reason. Come on, go up, please, sir. Please go up. Ah, oh, son of a... Why won't this bring me upwards? I guess I can't use that right now. Oh, a save room. I guess you, if you saw it earlier ago, but I named my file Dracula. Is it of Dracula? Because it's funny. Let me get a little louder. There we go. I don't know if the game was super loud earlier ago or not. Well, it's good enough for now. 
gonna be a way to, like, climb this thing. I'm assuming that's the way I have to go. If not, that's a later portion of the game. This is a Metroid Esquivania game. How do you make this go up? There's gotta be a way. It's probably not. A sw it's probably a switch, no doubt. Epic. I'm just gonna leave the area. Oh, it's the button. I have to wait for this guy to go on there and kill him so I can go on the thing. on the floor I can go any further. Oh, son of a... Stop attacking low, sir. Why would you turn, you jerk? Dang it! Friggin' controls. Now I gotta wait him to get to the spot again. I don't think any progress any further to actually reach a boss in this game. I might not do it in their episode on this until I actually learn the mechanics better. Because, like I said, I'm more familiar with the linear Castlevania games rather than the Metroidvania versions. Though I have played Metroidvania, I haven't played Castlevania games, I haven't played to the point where I know exactly what to do. What? No! I was there! Ah, F this. If that's really the way I have to go through in order to progress through this game, uh, fuck that. My apologies for sucking at a game. Let's see here, there's a platform up here I can use. Oh, I got a dagger now. If I can use my hearts. Resist Thunder. So far, so good, at least. Oh, I know these guys. I am familiar with playing a specific Castlevania game, being Castlevania Harmony of Despair, which is a mixture of pretty much the Metroidvania games, but uh, using elements from pretty much a lot of the, uh, the later Castlevania games. But still having concepts of some of the other ones, even having characters from older Castlevania games and a game that was not even Castlevania, but retained Castlevania's elements in a sense. Jeez, turn that off so we don't have any more cookies. Can I break this box? Oh, I could push it. I guess I push it to this button? No, they're here. There's only a reason why the button's there. Well, before I move any further, I want to go to this side and see if there's anything I can strike. No, it doesn't look like I don't think I can strike anything to begin with. You always gotta hit those walls so you can get some freaking pork chops. It's a standard Castlevania law. No. 
Okay, that's a wall. Oh, it's this area. I've seen this area before in, in, in one of the stages in Castlevania, uh, Harmony of Despair. Oh, save point. Neat. Maybe I'll stop the episode once I reach a boss and I can reach him. Because I now have the ability to use my dagger. Bit. All right, let's get going. Did I get him? I couldn't really tell. Oh, friggin'. I probably should use the axe more than the dagger. Uh. Oh, boss time? Oh, I know this boss. I fought this boss a lot of Mugen. Yeah, it's these guys. York and, uh. What was the other one called again? Sometimes I can't really reach the freaking up button. Boy, I, I get the button wrong. This is not going somewhere, right? Ouch. At least it's a lot easier as opposed to playing this with a Mugen character. The certain Mugen CPUs are so brainless. Well, at least can't really understand the ways, methods of actually attacking these characters. Oh, I can't jump because of that thing. Alright, I'm out of uh, hearts. That could be bad in a sense. I'm gonna go over here first so I can go ahead and get the item. Oh, there's no item here. Oh my god. Why am I not using my shield? Ugh. Dang it. Well, I'm sucking a lot with this. Uh, don't I have any magic? Uh, items. Ah, oh, dead. Uh, let's try that again. Hopefully the game over screen isn't long, which it probably is. It's probably longer because of the iPad. Oh, shut up, uh, Patrick Sates. Let's try that again. Maybe I'll go back and get the dagger. Oops, I actually unplugged my thing. So hard to move because the touchscreen sometimes is disresponsive. 
It's just the way I'm used, putting my fingers on it, I guess. I missed the footing, and I just instantly stopped moving for some reason. And I'm like, what the fuck, game? And I was like, oh, that's not the game. It's my fault. There's probably a way to know how to use the power that I got. Because Alucard, I, I found out Alucard's powers by just randomly doing a motion. Oh, freaking! I keep getting this thing unplugged. I should get them once up. Uh. Oh, Galbit is the other one. Or Galbor or something. Galboros, there we go. York and Galboros, that's the name. Oh, he just looks weird without a spear. When he does that attack, when he's being still being carried. Oh. Oh, I, don't have enough, I don't have enough parts to use the axe. Oh, I KO'd him. Take that. Oh, Slorga and Gal a uh, guy bond. Dang it, I got their names wrong again. No! I don't know my castle thing that well. So what did I say I got? I didn't check that well. I think it's some relics. All I know is that I leveled up. I guess that's it for this episode, since I'm not very familiar with Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I'm just gonna go over and save. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and find and see if there's anything else there here besides the bosses. I just gotta stop unplugging that. Oh, freak me. I unplugged the HDMI. Give me a second. Maybe I should just hold on to the wire that when I'm playing, so that way I don't let go of it. Is there anything over here? Oh, it's the other way around. Oh, that was too close to the guy. Oh, I think my health raised when I uh, defeated uh, Guybon and Slorga. Who the fuck are you? Well, whatever you are, you're dead. Was he a hired vampire goon or something? Where would this go? Dang it, it's jump and stab, not stab only. I'm in the right distance to hit it correctly. Ah, finally. I can't go down. I can't go down. Where am I? Am I in the area I was stuck in earlier ago? What is this? Sunglasses. Oh god, I hope I don't become the Alucard from the fucking, like, Captain N cartoon. Cool looking sunglasses. It minuses my intelligence, but it raises, uh, what is it raise? It raises my, uh... It raises my defense by one, so that's okay, I guess. We're all for some, some cool sunglasses. Alright, let's uh, go f down.
I probably forgot that I can use the back dash. Probably should have done that to dodge your attacks. And also moving. Ooh, what's this? A balisard. I probably butchered what it's actually called. Basic sword, sh short sword. Uh, is it better than my regular short sword? Oh, it's one more attack. Wait, what the? Oh, hold up. Uh, equip. What's the balisard? It raises. It, it, def it, it shortens my attack, basically. So it's a weaker version of what I already have. Oh, that's what's up here. Okay, so I don't have to, like... Alright, so there was no point trying to deal with the red skeleton from earlier ago. Damn it! That was too close. Ah! This is taking a little less damage now than before, because it's just raised by one. See you later. Yes, dagger. I'll take you any day over the axe because I'm just not good with the axe per se. The axe does add a lot more damage because it's in an arc. Why did I not jump higher enough? What? Oh, it's the axe. Oh, yes! Wall! I knew there was a wall. I probably should have gotten that right before the Slorga and Gaibon fight. Oops. Uh, like I said, I don't know um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night that well. But now that I do, I, I probably should know better for the future. I something better than the iPad. This is slow as hell. And also a little hard due to the controls. Oh, you're alive again. You're dead now. Why should strike that wall before I go anywhere else? Oh, I activated the spikes again. I didn't duck in time. Yeah, give me that. Stupid fire. No, it's not fire, it's poison. Shit! <laughs> ah, get me to the same point. Cure me, please. Thank you. There we go. Am I still poisoned? I'm still poisoned. Shit. How do I heal myself? Status, poison. How do you unpoison? There's gotta be like an item or something that allows me to stop that. I'm just gonna stay. Wait, oh, filter, filter, filter. Medicine, medicine. Dang it! I only have the freaking thunder.
Well, this sucks. I guess new information. Avoid any of those freaking guys. Because they could poison me and I could pretty much die. Wait, I'm an immortal vampire. How am I going to die of that? Well, vampire, more specifically. I'll probably should just end the episode here, because I've already said I would end the episode once I defeat the boss. I'll see you all the next time, when Alucard's not poisoned. Bye.